to have an interesting case today of the young lady that has um, something called cholesteatoma. And basically, this is a collection of skin or an abnormal collection of skin deep inside the bone that surrounds the ear. It's most commonly in the middle ear, but in these rare cases, it can be near the inner ear, closer towards the brain, which is why we're working today together with our colleagues from neurosurgery so that we can access this infection and the skin cells externally, kind of from the skull area as well as then from behind the ear in the mastoid area. Yeah, so our patient uh, presented with a lesion involving the base of the skull, involving a bone known as the temporal bone. So the neurosurgeons will provide the exposure for our ENT surgeons. We, we make an opening in the skull, right in the temporal region, just uh, in front of the ear. Once we expose the base of the skull in the lesion, then our ENT colleagues will then come in and resect it. At the end of the procedure, then we have to uh, reconstruct the base of the skull. We, can, we perform that in a multi-layer fashion. We can use tissue use artificial tissues. Sometimes we use tissues from the patient locally in the area of uh, the surgery. And occasionally we can also get some tissues um, uh, from a patient remotely, for example, from the thigh. And then we, we perform this multi-layer closure in order to prevent a post-operative uh, CSF leak, leakage of fluid the, of the brain fluid. But then we could also now proceed to the second part of the operation, which is to remove the rest of the cholesteatoma in the mastoid and rebuild her middle ear bones so that we can restore her hearing as well. The problem really is that if it's left untreated, where this cholesterol was sitting was right above the cochlea which does your hearing it's also right next to the balance canals and right on top of her facial nerve so if left untreated she could have presented with complete hearing loss severe imbalance or vertigo and even weakness on the one side of the face and so that's why we treat this is that even though it's not a cancer it grows like a tumor and causes slow bone erosion and destruction and so it's potentially quite dangerous